guys, welcome back to another rendition of me roasting, I mean, uh, appreciating your collections and reviewing them in a nice and fair manner. I'm gonna give my general thoughts on them, be very kind, no negativity here today, guys. I'm gonna try and give two suggestions for each collection and I'm gonna hopefully be able to cater to each of you specifically. Let's see the collection. Tom Manuel, who's actually one of our community members in our Discord server, so it's really cool to have him featured in this video. What's up, bro? Lovely to, to uh, see your collection. And straight away, I see Mr. Romantic Atrium Fragrance. I really like this collection. Uh, you know what, just because you have Atrium in there, I'm gonna give you like a, a fair uh, 52 out of 10. I think that's a fair score. So I'm giving a positive for you, bro. So let's have a look at this collection. Really good, really uh, a little nicer mix of both designer and niche. You got some Aaron Terrence Hughes. You probably like your darker perfumery a bit more than your fresh stuff, but it's still a fairly balanced collection. You have some clones in there, some Middle Eastern clones, some, uh, some good basic designer stuff, some more creative stuff. So I think it's just a really nice, solid collection overall. What I will say to you is, oh, and I know it's Mr. Maritime as well on the bottom right. So yeah, 52 out of 10 to uh, 72 out of 10 for you now, bro. I've just bumped you up a bit more. Uh, so I think, yeah, what can we uh, add to this collection? Not a whole lot more. Honestly, I would say just start going for the really expensive stuff, the really creative niche stuff. Uh, you like your dark perfumery, an easy, easy recommendation for me uh, to give to you is uh, Amouage's Interlude Black Iris. I think you're from the UK, bro, if I remember correctly, you can get it for a really good price these days. I know someone can go for like £177, someone said in one of the comments, which is excellent. Bargain for the quality you're getting. One of the best frames I've ever tried in my life. Best blend, best longevity, best ingredients. Go check it out, at least get a sample and see if it's for you. It's very dark and heavy for the winter time. And then after that, let's say one of more fresh, uh, really expensive, creative fragrance. I would recommend Ormond Jane's Mont Tobacco Intensivo. You don't really have something like that in your collection, but it would go nicely for uh, when you're feeling similar vibes to that Terre d'Hermes you have there in the middle, or uh, that uh, Dior Homme 2020. It's kind of similar vibes, but it's much, much better quality. <laughs> you're paying much more money. Uh, but I still think it's very reasonably priced for the quality you're getting. One of the best blends again, I've ever had in my life. It's not really sweet, it's not a sweet fragrance, it's a more refreshing, calming, relaxing, elegant fragrance that has some of the best blends you've ever experienced in your life. So really check it out, bros. 10 hours longevity as well, it's a great signature. I think it'll elevate your game. Next up, we have Jordan Zeng, who has provided this picture here, and is telling me that he wants another fragrance suggestion that will keep his collection more balanced. He wants to keep his fragrance wardrobe minimalist and streamlined from what I'm seeing on his comments. So let's see what we can do. First of all, it looks like this is a cupboard in a bathroom, which is a big no-no for fragrance storage. You don't want to keep your fragrances in the intense coldness you can get in the bathroom or the intense heat, especially from steam. So I'm going to give you a negative 84 out of 10, bro, just for that. But the collection looks good. The only fragrance I'm not recognizing here is the top left English Laundry Notting Hill, which is like a citrusy, peppery, musky sandalwood scent. Okay, I'm presuming this is for the warm weather. Other than that, I guess I'm already seeing some good balance in here. You got a variety of styles. You got the Toy Boy, the uh, Invictus Summertime Scents, Aqua Di Gio. You got a sweeter stuff of Eros Flame, Ultramal, and Noir Extreme. So you got a basic beginner collection, I'd say. Uh, you got a solid foundation. You can maybe go a little bit more interesting, perhaps. I think a more intense professional office scent you can opt for is Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver, the Eau de Parfum, because I feel like that would add a new style to your collection. I know Mont Blanc Explorer can be worn for work and it's pretty good, but Vetiver, Grey Vetiver gives you a new style. It's got slightly better longevity. I think it'll just suit you really nice. I think you'd enjoy it. I think it'll add more balance to your collection giving you more freshness, more serious professionalism in your collection. And then after that, I'm seeing that you're starting to go towards the creativity of perfumery with things like Toy Boy and Noir Extreme. I would say add Dior Homme Intense in there. I think it's a classic masterpiece in perfumery. Uh, it will suit your collection because you kind of need it a few more evening scents, I think. And it's quite intimate, romantic and warm. It will suit your collection really nicely, give you an alternative to wear to Tom Ford Noir Extreme and introduce you into interesting iris evening perfumery. 32% of people who watch School of Scent are subscribed to us. If you guys want to see our channel grow, to really help us out, click subscribe. Let's get that number to 40%. Thank you. We have Yord's collection spread out nicely. Okay, it's got some interesting fragrances here. 
Hello Omar, are you still reviewing and giving feedback on collections? No. If that's the case, here is mine. Do you have any recommendations of which I should try eventually? I'm 26 years old in Norway. The summer gets quite warm, but the winter time lasts a long time and gets really cold. Anyways, feel free to roast me as well. So you basically just described seasons to us. But I understand your predicament. You generally live in a more cold climate in Scandinavia. You're going to verge towards colder weather sense, which I can see in your collection. I think it matches that reality. But again, I will recommend to you one fresher warm weather fragrance and one cooler weather scent. You like your boozy fragrances from Pure Malt. Fantastic discontinued scent. Very sad. I'm not sure which white bottle initial fragrance that is. It could be any of them. Obviously, Oud for Greatness is, is in there. You like your spicy stuff, I can tell from a lot of your fragrances here. Then on the fresher side, you got some interesting stuff like Prada Lom O, Aventus, Green Irish Tweed, which gives you a variety of styles to choose from. Blue de Chanel as well, another blue fragrance. I like the fact that you've got a variety in your fresh styles. I will say, because you love your spicy style of fragrances, I will go and recommend Memo's African Leather, which has a very photorealistic spice cabinet effect to it. Kind of similar to Oud for Greatness, but dries down to this nice leather perfumery later on in the dry down. You might like it. Try to sample it if you can. You might enjoy it a lot. And then on the more fresh side, this kind of more fresh, go for Penhaligon Sartorial. This is because you don't really have a barbershop scent from what I can tell in your collection. It adds a new style to your collection. It's still a more cool weather oriented uh, barbershop scents will still work for you most of the year round. It's super gorgeous. One of my favorite fragrances of all time. Honeyed barbershop perfumery with clean white shirt linen musks. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Very gentlemanly. I think you'll really enjoy it. So check it out, bro. Overall, I give this collection a solid three. Nice one. This next collection is by LH Fragrances, who informs me he is actually a fragrance TikToker. So that's a negative 32 out of 10 straight away, just because he said that. But I do like this collection and he's telling me he just basically wants me to roast him. So there we go, bro, I've already done it for you. And I'm gonna go through this collection now. So you got a nice collection. Uh, I don't know where those bottom two on the bottom left are. I, I'm not even gonna attempt to look those notes up. I don't know what they are at all. I know you got Arabian's Tonka there. I know it's a very popular fragrance by Montal. Let me just refresh my knowledge on the notes. Okay, sweet, intense, spicy oud, the tonka bean note, of course. I'm kind of getting like Middle Eastern Baccarat Rouge, maybe? I really need to try that fragrance, but hey, for a 15 year old, this is kind of incredible. <laughs> this is a really nice collection, actually. I think you've got a good balance again, some good mainstream stuff, some uh, beginning to go into some niche as well. You're a classy dude. I feel like you appreciate some artistic perfumery in your style, even though you're 15. 15 year olds, usually, I don't imagine them liking really uh, artistically created fragrances, but I think you'll, you're gonna appreciate them. Go for Guerlain's L'Homme Ideal Extreme. It'll suit your style and introduces you to a new artistic, elegant style of perfumery from that fragrance. Beautiful notes of plum, boozy notes, leather, tobacco, almonds. It's ambered out, nice and sweet. It's just a beautiful, gorgeous, elegant evening scent that even though you're 15, I usually say it's a bit more of a mature fragrance. I feel like your taste is more mature than your age group and I think you'd enjoy it. Then after that, just because you're an influencer and I think it'll just suit your style, you're a younger guy as well, this is great for younger guys, is Valentino Womo's uh, Born in Roma Intense. It is a mixture of Pacarabans Invictus with Emporio Armani's Stronger With You. Bubblegum plus warm ambers and in the same time, making a very nice signature, gorgeous, mainstream appealing fragrance. Really loved by the community. I give it like maybe an eight and a half. I don't think it's a perfect 10, but I think uh, most young guys will see that as a 10 out of 10. It really is great for younger guys, youthful, sexy, mass appealing, and versatile as well, so check it out. I relate it back to you being an influencer because also I feel like it's a great fragrance just to talk about in your reviews. It'll probably keep coming up as soon as you acquire it. You might want to continuously share it, so maybe that'll help you too. Cooper Zemla, who says he is 15 years old and is wondering what his next fragrance should be. Now, as a 15 year old, I'm extremely impressed by the fact you already have a Zerjoff in your collection. I wish I was as rich as you when I was 15. Because of my jealousy, I'm gonna give you a negative 18 out of 10, bro. Just because um, I, I wish I had as much bread as you did when you were 15. But this is a very nice collection. So we got some nice sweet stuff here with the Jean Paul Gaultier's Most Wanted Parfum, which I believe is sort of in the Stronger With You kind of line of fragrances. Tell me if you guys agree or disagree. I haven't tried it yet. I'm not sure what that's, Hammer, Hammer Black? I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not, I'm not gonna look at that up, it looks scary. Um, but Hugo Boss, uh, Bustled Unlimited on the bottom right there. That was one of my first fragrances I ever, ever owned. It was a nice 
light musky pineapple scent for the summertime. Terrible performance, but great scent. You have a few lighter and cleaner stuff like the uh, Prada Lom, the Sauvage, but you know, generally you like the fruitier, sweeter scents, which is kind of cool. You're 15, you probably like those kind of things anyways. I'm gonna say, first of all to you, because of the style that you like, I'm gonna suggest Valentino Womo's Born in Roma Intense because it's got that bubblegum and amber style mixed together. It's sort of like if you took that ultra mal you have in your collection and mix it with Stronger With You, that's the kind of vibe you get with uh, Born in Roma Intense. And then after that, I'm gonna to suggest to you a stronger, longer lasting summertime fragrance that uh, would suit your collection more. I know Herba Pura, some people say it's a summertime scent, but it's quite sweet and fruity from what I've heard. I actually still need to try it myself in fairness. But I suggest something to you like Rosasi Hawas because you're 15 years old, you're young, you like youthful bubblegum scents. I think you'd like it. It'll be a nice new addition, new style of summer perfumery in your collection. Next up, we have a video by Iso Verlin, which is really exciting. Let's watch it together, guys. Okay, straight away, I can see that you got some good niche in here. You have Jack Bogart Silver scent, which apparently is an extreme beast mode freshie from what I've heard. A little spice bombs, a little aquatic fragrances. I don't know what those three fragrances at the top are. The ones next to Nishaniani, I don't understand which ones they are. Got some Manceras, a lot of darker, sweeter stuff from the Dior Om line, the Dolce & Gabbana, the One line. Definitely more on the darker and spicier side of things. Okay, so definitely a nice balanced collection. We'll give it a two out of 10, because you put it on, uh, I think, is that cardboard or on the back? No, it's just the brown blanket. I didn't, couldn't tell what it was. But um, yeah, two out of 10, it was really a nice collection. Uh, it's definitely more on the darker, spicier side with a few freshies. Having a quick look around again, a quick zoom around this collection. I don't see anything particularly strongly gourmand. You got really good balance in your collection. You got a lot of different styles that I respect. You got the heavy vanillas, the spices, the ouds, the aquatics, the, some leather stuff with your on parfum as well. So I would say get a new style like Killian's Black Phantom. It helps you go into more into the niche side of things because you're quite an experienced collector and it's very intensely uh, gourmand. Black Phantom is a coffee caramel fragrance from what I believe, and I think it has some boozy elements in there as well, but it's definitely, yeah, it's got chocolate as well. Heavy, heavy gourmand scent that I think would be a nice addition to your collection. So hopefully you check it out, bro. Thank you for the video. We have Kay's collection, small, but a good range of both designer and niche. He says, hi, Pookie. I'm gonna give you a negative 14 out of 10. I broke my own rule, guys, I'm sorry. I'm 16, I'm just looking for a few more winter fragrances. Designer or niche, I don't really care. Wow, this guy has money. He doesn't care how expensive the fragrances are, it seems. And then I just want to add summer fragrances to my collection. I really don't know which ones. I started with Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Beau in the end of summer. So your collection has come a really long way since. And I commend you, you must be a great smelling guy. You are definitely ahead of the curve for your age group. Uh, but a, lot, a few of these fragrances I haven't tried yet, unfortunately. I think one of them is Altier. Okay, it's Altier. Okay, I, th I thought it was a new part of the model I haven't tried yet. I've tried that. Not, yeah, I think for a 16 year old, actually, you can rock it. It's quite an easy vanilla scent. Boss, the scent magnetic. I think I tried it once in store and I was just not impressed when I tried it, but it's got quite good ratings on Fragrantica. Uh, it's meant to be more of a cooler weather scent. It's called Vanilla, Bran, and Meninka. Okay, the note breakdown is useless, <laughs> but it seems like a quite interesting fragrance. The scent line in general is quite straightforward and simple. I like the fact they kept the Meninka fruit in there. That was the original charm and unique factor of the scent line by Hugo Boss. So I might try it out again in the store. Maybe I need to give it a proper wearing. <laughs> but then the, the first review I read on Fragrantica, it says, smells like sweat and sweet piss. Don't recommend. So there we go. <laughs> you win some and you lose some. Honestly, I think this is a nice collection. I think you've got a nice uh, range of niche and designer. You've got your summer freshies, as well as your uh, cold, cooler weather winter stuff. As a 16 year old, I might say go and try some blue fragrances. I think quite a nice, easy blue fragrance you could try out would be YSL's Y EDP Intense. I think this is probably the best current version of YSL's Y. It's youthful, it's more smoothed out compared to Y EDP in my opinion, and lasts a really long time, around eight to 10 hours. Or if you want a, another winter fragrance, I think for young guys, I always recommend a Stronger With You line. I think Stronger With You absolutely is very attractive. It's boozy, it's warm, intense. I think you kind of have a bit more of a refined taste than most 16 year olds. 
I could recommend to you as are the most wanted. You might like that as more simple and loud. It's kind of a very similar same profile to Stronger With You, absolutely. But I'd say go for Stronger With You, absolutely. I think it'll suit your style more. I think you'd enjoy it. I don't think you need to own both of those fragrances because they're very similar to each other. And the rating, yeah, I've already given you a rating, bro, for that uh, initial message. Mini, <laughs> Min Cutie Pie has sent me this picture. You're gonna get a negative four just for that username, I'm sorry. Okay, you have two Diptyque fragrances. Diptyque is not a bad brand, it has some nice stuff. I like, the, I think they do Dam Tao. That's a nice sandalwood scent they do. I think one of them here is Eau de Mente, or Eau de Mint which of course is a very mint heavy fragrance. I wasn't a huge fan of it though, so it felt a little bit flat to me when I tried it out. Another good one they do from Diptyque is uh, Oikonos, I think it's called. It's like their fig based fragrance, it's not bad. I think it's worth checking out. You got some fresh stuff. I like Baccarat Rouge, I'm a fan of Baccarat Rouge. Call me a fanboy. I don't care. Oud Woods, some Sauvage. You got the original John, John Varvatos uh, Artisan, which I think was Quite a clean, soapy, ginger-based fragrance from what I remember. I think you appreciate quite cool, interesting masculine perfumery. I think you should try out some leather stuff in your collection. You have Tom Ford Private Line. Why don't you go for something like Rosasi La Yukowam, which is a great clone of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. It's affordable, it's a great way to try and get into leather perfumery. It's strong, beastly smokiness that is similar to Tuscan Leather with a hint of raspberry, I believe. Uh, so yeah, it's a very strong fragrance. It's definitely very, very strong. I think you'll like it. You should try it out, bro. Tell me what you think. Georgi Semerdziev ascends in his collection. Okay, all right, stop right there. We have two fragrance bottles without a lid. That is a big no-no. If you want your fragrance to go off, that's a good way to do it. You're exposing the, uh, the container to the air much more easily. And your Prada Long bottle is face down, bottom up, which is a bit sus. Although I'm glad it was that bottle and not the John Paul Gaultier bottle right next to it, in fairness. But hey, overall, bro, you're gonna get a negative 18, I think. I think that's reasonable. You need to go find your lids. Well, you got a nice collection overall, actually. You got a nice balance of dark, fresh, mainly designer, which is okay, it's cool. Okay, Narcisa Rodriguez for him, uh, Blue Noir, Eau de Parfum, okay. I haven't tried that one. I tried the Parfum, which I was very disappointed by. It felt like a poor man's Diorum Intense, the Blue Noir Parfum. We have the notes on, on the screen right now. You can see it's kind of like an iris evening based scent. I wasn't a huge fan. It felt really uninspired. So it feels like you're a guy who knows his fragrance as well. He's got a good amount of knowledge, apart from the lack of lids. And you're getting into your niche. I'm not sure if that's latent or latent exclusive at the top there. But hey, I feel like you're getting into niche, which is great. Uh, so I feel like you should go more into that direction. Feels like you're, just, you're trying to do that with uh, a, that breakthrough of Leighton. So I can tell you like a lot of your blue fragrances, you like a lot of your aquatic fragrances, such as with Aqua Atlantique, which I think is discontinued at the bottom there. And I'm gonna give you a niche fragrance that sort of gives you that versatility of a blue fragrance that is also aquatic. Of course, I'm gonna have to recommend Zerjoff's 40 Knots. It just fits these collections so nicely, guys. It's such an underrated, underpriced fragrance actually nowadays. So I think you, it would suit you perfectly. It's quite mass appealing but at the same time it gives you a bit more of a challenge to your collection because your collection is quite mainstream. You know, give yourself a, a, something that kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone. Long lasting, it's a fantastic fragrance. Check it out, bro. Ibrahim sent me this picture first of all, uh, which was a beautiful picture and I really like this, but then a few months later, because I didn't respond to his DM, he sent me another picture. You've just double dipped into our collection video. It's a negative uh, 68 out of 10 for you, bro. Sorry. But honestly, the photography here is excellent. Really beautiful picture. But we'll focus on the second bigger collection here. You got a few clones. Okay, you got the uh, Oud for Glory, the Af uh, the Assad by Latafa. I'm not sure which Al Haramein Amber Oud that is. I can't read the writing. You got some beautiful designers and be beautiful niche choices as well with Tuxedo, Haltain, Red Tobacco. This is a really awesome, balanced quality collection. I really like it. You're already quite far ahead in the game. For you, I would just say add some more styles to your collection. You got the oud perfumery, you got the tobacco perfumery. Maybe you could add some leather into your collection. You like your Middle Eastern clones, and you like if you're missing leather, I'm, I'm gonna recommend it. It's gonna be Rassasi's La Yuka Wam, one of the highest rated fragrances on Fragrantica, a beast mode Middle Eastern clone of Tuscan leather by Tom Ford. Loud, beastly, smoky leather with a slightly animalic touch, some dryness in there. It just smells super masculine, super intense, and it's a loud, head-turning fragrance. If you like fragrances like red tobacco that just grabs people's attention, then maybe La Yuka Wan would uh, easily be something you would enjoy. You can easily sample it if you want as well. 
And then the only other style I can think of really is maybe a rose-based fragrance. Uh, and this might seem a bit basic based on what you already have, but actually I think it's, this, the quality still matches what you already own. I would say go from a Skinner's Toy Boy. Peppery, rosy, masculine, pear perfumery. Really creative stuff. And I think it would add nicely to your collection. You don't really have anything like that here. And I think you, being an avid and strong collector that you already are, would appreciate it. So definitely check it out. Anthony Morseline, who has informed me that, that the unmarked decant at the top there is of Creed Aventus. Bro, you don't have to explain you know, why you have an unmarked decant in your collection, but you do have to explain yourself why are you buying Creed Aventus in this day and age. So negative 48 out of 10 for you, bro. I'm sorry. Otherwise, this collection looks pretty good. Let's see what we have. Okay, the Aaron Terrence Hughes are Supernova, which again is like Creed Aventus in my opinion. It's quite similar to Creed Aventus. And Hard Candy, fantastic, versatile, creative, fruity perfumery with the strawberry in there. Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Joe Malone is pretty solid. You got the original YSL Lom, presumably, and you got Le Nuit de Lom, Ombre Leather Parfum, Tuscan Leather. Okay, that's cool. I like it when people have leather perfumery in their collection already. You got some niche as well. I'm presuming that's Percival and Packerat Rouge. So it's cool because you have the fresher stuff, the heavier stuff. You've got gourmand perfumery, leather perfumery. You've even got some oud perfumery here. But I will say you could really experience oud in its full form. So maybe I would recommend an oud signature sent to you. If you really want to improve your collection, you're willing to spend some money, bro, go for Zerjov's Alexandria too. This is your very traditional oud and rose fragrance that just smells like money. Super woody, all these expensive woody molecules. It's just got the best ingredients. It just knows what it's trying to be and it's doing that DNA absolute justice. So if you want to elevate your collection, that's the one to go for. However, if you're not feeling that fragrance and you still want to try out Oud and Rose, a more gourmand mainstream, maybe safer take on Oud and Rose would be Oud Satin Mood by MFK. It smells like Turkish delight mixed with Oud. So those are my two suggestions. Hopefully we can introduce Oud to your collection. Let me know if you enjoy those suggestions. We have Daniel Cooley's collection and he's actually given us a nice little message here. Let's read it. I'm Daniel from Texas. Well, howdy. I'm a 29 year old barber that started collecting about three months ago. With it being extremely hot most of the year here, I'm coming to realize that fresh fragrances are probably going to be the most versatile for me. Absolutely. I'd like to hear what you think are some good summer date fragrances. Any recommendations in general would be great. Thanks. Okay, that's cool. I like that you give me some information to work with. It gives me a lot more uh, of a precision I can give to you with my recommendations here. So yeah, for a guy who lives in really intense heat in Texas, uh, you do have a very sweet collection, I must say. But I will say in general that even if you live in a, in a hot climate, guys, I think you can rock sweet stuff. You just go su super light on the trigger, maybe just wear them in the evening times when it's a bit cooler. Because then obviously you get access to sweet fragrances. Otherwise, you just wouldn't wear like one side of the industry, which would be very sad. So I don't think it's the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, obviously, the fresher stuff will be more uh, usable in that climate. So for a date fragrance in the summertime, I can give you two different suggestions. One that's quite sporty fresh, that is more casual, mass appealing, and more versatile. That's gonna be Chanel's Allurum Sport Eau Extreme, because it has that kind of sweetness you want from a date fragrance while still being fresh and sporty enough to wear in the warm weather. It's just a very versatile fragrance in general. It has that iconic Mandarin, mint, clean, musky, tonka bean. It's very creamy and uh, smooth. It's a very smooth fragrance that I think you will love. I don't see it in your collection. I think you'd love it based on your style. It's definitely mass appealing. If you want something a little bit more strange, let's say, <laughs> I would go for something like Aaron Terrence Hughes Hard Candy. That is a fragrance that, although it's very thick, it's definitely got a sweet, fruity aspect to it. It's got a, a strawberry note in there. I will say it is balanced. It's incredible what Aaron has done with it. Uh, it's a very creative fragrance. I'm not sure how easy it is for you in the States to get Aaron's stuff. It's, it's always a fighting battle. <laughs> it's an ongoing battle all the time. But Hard Candy is a beautiful, sweet, sexy fragrance that still has some balance to it from the citruses that it uses. So I think that would definitely be a really sexy, hot weather, hot fragrance. <laughs> That's just really sexy. It just smells really attractive. That's my recommendation to you, bro. So one is really easy, mass appealing. One's a little bit more niche. But they're both still very easy to love. I think they both work really well on a date in the hot weather. And then finally, we have David's small but powerful collection. Actually, no, he's got Nautica Voyage. Okay, it's a negative eight. I'm sorry, bro. You've gone down. I'm sorry. But you've got some interesting uh, beginner-friendly and then mid-range 
designer fragrances. Your beginner stuff is also going to be Nautica Voyage. I think you got the diesel fist thing there. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, Mont Blanc Explorer can usually be found quite cheap. It's a very nice, affordable, smooth, and slightly more mature Aventus clone. It's actually a really nice scent for its price tag. Weiss's Lom, the original, is one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled in my life scent-wise, but the performance is terrible. Mercedes Benz Club Black is a nice, simple, boozy, amber, vanilla and broxen fragrance. It smells boozy to me. I know it's not a note, but quite a simplistic, but nice synthetic vanilla fragrance. Really good for its price as well. And actually, I think Altier by PDM may have taken some inspiration from this fragrance personally is what I think. Yeah, Invictus is a classic. Azora the Most Wanted, great scent, as I mentioned earlier. And after 9 p.m. is a very solid uh, Ultramal clone that does it more fresh. And actually, I think I prefer it over the original Ultramal personally. I feel like your journey is taking you more into your mid-range designer stuff. So I say, let's carry on with that. I feel like you have some elegance in your style with Mercedes-Benz Club Black, uh, the Mont Blanc Explorer, the YSL's Lom. Mid-range designer, you gotta get a blue fragrance eventually. I feel like everyone just is gonna get one at some point. I would say go for uh, Dior Sauvage, the Parfum. Really underrated flanker and concentration of Sauvage. Super natural smelling, long lasting, elegant and refined compared to the rest of the concentrations. It might be actually my favorite Sauvage flanker out of all of them. It still has a beautiful versatility, but it just toned down that annoying abroxin from before, focusing more on natural notes of mandarin and sandalwood. A really, really nice blue, fresh out of the shower scent with some class in there and lost, as I said, a long time, around 10 hours. That's my fresh suggestion. And then if you want something sweeter and add a new, uh, more gourmand-esque uh, style to your collection, go for Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. It suits the style you like with Mercedes-Benz Club Black, the most wanted. I just think it kind of develops your style. You go to more intense, interesting, and creative ideas in your perfumery collection. Uh, I really think it's one of the best date night fragrances ever made with a really interesting gourmand note of coffee in there, vanilla, some floral spices, really seductive, smells very exotic and just unlike anything else that exists out there. Eight hours longevity with a soft projection. I think you'll really enjoy it, bro. So I hope you try those two suggestions out. And that concludes this video, guys. Thank you to everyone who submitted their collections today. I really appreciate you guys giving me material to work with to just be a negative individual in the community and just roast people. I mean, review people's collections. Anyways, I really enjoyed uh, looking at your collections, guys, in all seriousness. I really hope you guys enjoyed these suggestions from me. As I say, guys, go follow us on Instagram, send us a DM. I may or may not be able to review your collection. We get a lot of people DMing us, guys, as you can imagine. But I really did enjoy doing this series today for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our previous part in this series up here, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.